Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday morning, the 5th of December. I'm James Spann. Got a really messy weather pattern setting up for the state. Uh, temperature roller coaster ride, a lot of rain. Uh, maybe some icing up in the northwestern corner of the state tomorrow night and a big mess to the west and an Arctic blast next week. A lot of things to talk about, so let's go in there and take a look. This is the water vapor satellite view across the nation. You can see our big cold trough in the west. Ahead of that is southwest flow aloft. And that's pushing moisture up and over the shallow cold air over parts of the southern U.S. That's going to set the stage for a nasty ice storm west of Alabama tonight and tomorrow. Leading edge of the cold air getting close. Approaching Memphis, and it is just bad. I mean, we've got some minus 20s through parts of Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana this morning. And you can see that amazing thermal gradient just west of the state. And again, that uh, surface boundary very close to Memphis. But around here, we have a tongue of warm air. And look at that. We're starting the day at 70 in Tuscaloosa and Muscle Shoals. And I think this is pretty amazing. Look at Memphis. They've got 71 at 5 o'clock this morning, and they are under an ice storm warning. And they're going to drop like a rock over the next uh, 12 hours. Uh, to the west, there is an ice storm warning in effect for parts of northeast Texas, southeast Oklahoma, central Arkansas, west Tennessee, those counties in the darker shades of maroon. And then the pink colors, thats those are winter storm warnings uh, from the Texas Hill Country up to Dallas-Fort Worth. Uh, that includes the winter storm warnings up for Oklahoma City, Tulsa, uh, southern Missouri, Cape Girardeau, uh, western Kentucky around Paducah, Evansville, Indiana over towards Cincinnati. Uh, there were no advisories for Alabama. It's going to be a close call tomorrow night for the northwestern corner of the state. We'll take a look at that. The one thing I'll promise, it's going to rain a lot here for the next five days. This is the rain through uh, Tuesday of next week. A five-inch bullseye over the northeastern corner of the state, over in the north Georgia, up around Chattanooga. Four inches showing up for much of northeast Alabama down toward Birmingham with three inches down to Tuscaloosa. So uh, the one thing we'll have to watch for along the way, some flooding problems. Uh, you know, it's not out of the question. This is the ice outlook for tomorrow and tomorrow night. Uh, this is technically valid from 6 a.m. Central Time tomorrow until 6 a.m. Central Time Saturday. And there's that high risk of more than a quarter inch of ice right through the Memphis metro area. And uh, that's where some really nasty icing could occur. Uh, the northwestern tip of Alabama is in the uh, slight risk, uh, as is Nashville. And again, it's going to be a close call up there around Florence and uh, Muscle Shoals tomorrow night, maybe down toward Hamilton. Of course, we'll talk about that as we go. And let's not forget, you know, in the warm sector, we got to deal with storms. This is the... Uh, Convective outlook today, no formal risk. We have low-end 5% severe weather possibilities for a pretty good chunk of north and central Alabama. And then tomorrow, really the same zone, uh, low-end 5% severe weather possibilities. Is, uh, in advance of that Arctic boundary, there could be some strong storms. And one of the things we'll do is talk about the uh, potential for that as we go. So let's look into modeling here. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today. There's a big trough in the western states, and down below that, uh, icing beginning to develop over parts of Texas, Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas, southern Missouri during the day today. And, of course, we'll be in a very warm, muggy air mass. Temperatures well up in the 70s. Uh, both models are printing a high of 76 today. Uh, that's within three of Birmingham's record of 79, set in 1998 now. This afternoon, we'll be watching for storms. This is the surface-based instability coming off the uh, uh, RAP model. That's a mesoscale model, and this has got the numbers in excess of 750 joules. That's where you start to see the green, and in some spots, uh, instability values over 1,000 joules. 
Uh, and that's certainly in the cold season is sufficient for, you know, some strong to severe storms. Uh, this is the wind field at 850 millibars, the low level jet. And uh, these numbers are underwhelming. You got 30, 40 knots around here, and you typically want to see those numbers in excess of 50 knots. So, you know, weak wind fields at the surface and aloft, that's one of the big limiting factors. This is the bulk shear. And really, the, the higher values are uh, off to the west later today. This is about at 3 o'clock this afternoon, back in the colder air around Memphis. So it's a little out of phase. But the energy helicity index values are actually pretty high. In fact, uh, those little yellow spots there over North Alabama, that's an EHI of 2. And that's pretty significant. So um, we'll just have to watch the radar trends. I'd say it's a marginal threat, but we cannot rule out the chance of a severe storm somewhere. And by golly, some of those things might try and rotate, but but it's a fairly marginal threat. But you know what I'm going to say. When it comes to thunderstorms, expect the unexpected. So showers and storms developing this afternoon and tonight. If you're headed to the uh, Super 6 championship games in Tuscaloosa, take the rain gear. All right, this is tomorrow at noon. This is where the icing gets nasty in Dallas and Little Rock and Memphis and uh, Paducah, Evansville. And back in the colder air, snow is likely. We see the blue shades, uh, Tulsa, Springfield, uh, places like that. And, of course, around here, you know, the, the temperature forecasting is going to be a big issue tomorrow. We've talked about this for days. This is uh, tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. The NAM has the cold front running from Tuscaloosa to Aniana to Fort Payne. And the cold air is going to be very shallow, and it's not going to exactly have the best resolution to handle this. The uh, model output statistics are not going to be very helpful. Um but, you know, if, if this is right, at 6 o'clock in the morning, Birmingham would be at 69. Up the road in Jasper, it's 21 degrees colder at 48. Uh, so to, tomorrow, up in the Shoals, Florence, Hamilton, Hackleburg, Haleyville, you'll be in the 30s and 40s all day. Uh, elsewhere, it's going to be a close call. And look at noon. Now, this is odd. I, I don't exactly know why the, the NAM is doing this. Is trying to actually move the warm air back northward. That makes no sense. Uh, it's got Birmingham almost at 80 degrees at noon, and then you've got 40 up in the shoals. And I do think there's going to be a huge swing. Uh, I think clearly at one point tomorrow it might be a case where you got 30s in the shoals and 80s in Montgomery, almost a 50-degree spread. But we're going to stick with our ongoing idea in that we start the day warm for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Aniston, Gadsden, then we fall in the 40s tomorrow afternoon. But, of course, your number will just depend on where you live. Again, if you're in Haleyville or Hamilton or Vernon, you'll be cold all day. If you live in Ashland or Lineville or Roanoke, you'll be warm all day. You get the idea. And, again, it's going to rain on us most all day. It's just going to be a soaking rain. So same thing, Super 6 in Tuscaloosa, take the rain gear, and it's going to turn cold tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. Now, this is tomorrow night at midnight, Saturday, 12 a.m., whatever you want to call it. And this is where it's going to be a really close call for uh, northwest Alabama. We've still got icing going on there in north Mississippi and west and middle Tennessee. Uh, this is the high res NAM, uh, valid at midnight tomorrow night. Do you see the blue line up there? That's where it should be 32 at the surface. And uh, that freeze line is running from near Hamilton to Haleyville and Addison and Decatur and then Hazel Green, north of Huntsville. So that's, that's a very close call. And I don't think it's going to be a super long duration of freezing rain. You know, no power outages, nothing like that here. But that could certainly lead to some bridge icing. So if you're traveling up there to that northwestern corner of Alabama, just be aware of the potential of some freezing rain tomorrow night. Now, this is Saturday. Uh, we will be in cold air. Uh, we stay in the 40s all day. Parts of northwest Alabama, Alabama could be in the 30s all day. Uh, there will be scattered light rain. Uh, it's not a situation where it's just going to you know, be a soaker in rain all day, but clearly a cloudy, miserable, raw day with some light rain falling at times. And we stay in the 40s. Everybody's in the cold air. Now, this is Sunday. The weather stays wet. A warm front is trying to push north through here. And again, the temperature numbers on Sunday are going to be all over the board. This is the European at uh, noon, and you can see that warm tongue coming up through East Alabama. Now, this run is colder. It's still got 40s over much of North Alabama. 
but Montgomery is at 71, and it's just going to be very hard to pinpoint the numbers. But uh, clearly, if you're south and east of Birmingham, you could warm up into the 60s. But if you're in Birmingham, north and west, you could stay in the 40s all day. And north and east of Birmingham, got the wedge over in Georgia and the Arctic air that's entrenched to the north and west of here. So Sunday will be wet and still cold for a lot of you. But again, south and east of Birmingham, it starts to warm up. You'll have to watch for flooding problems. Now, this is Monday. By golly, it's still raining uh, Monday morning. It's just coming down. Um, and uh, Monday, we'd probably kind of sit around 50, I think, much of the day. But the rain should taper off late in the day, Monday and Monday night. And this is Tuesday, and we get into much colder air. And again, it might be a case where there could be a few snow flurries, maybe, early Tuesday morning as the colder air blows in here. These are temperatures at midday uh, Tuesday, and the, the Europeans got Birmingham at 39. And I think there's a real chance we hover in the 30s all day. North of Birmingham, yes, I think we'll be in the 30s all day. South of Birmingham, you might see low 40s, but it's going to be a cold, raw day. And again, maybe some morning flurries, but I think the sky becomes partly sunny. This is Wednesday. The sun will be out finally, uh, but it's going to be cold Wednesday morning. Uh, we'll be down there toward 20 degrees. Uh, the colder valleys will be in the teens. But the high would probably be in the upper 40s on Wednesday. And this is uh, Thursday. Still pretty cold. I mean, that uh, uh, freeze line is not too far away. And this is at noon from the European. It's uh, showing only middle 40s. So cold, cold air for the middle of next week. All right, let's go out there a few more days. This is December 17th. Interesting looking setup there with rain, maybe changing to snow on the backside of that with the departing storm. Uh, the snow changeover probably would not create problems if this happens to be correct. And the end of the forecast on the 21st of December, almost Christmas time. Got a warm ridge over the Gulf, strong westerlies, no really cold air. That would be cool and kind of showery if that happens to be correct. And one more note, I was going to show this earlier, that that's our freezing rain line for tomorrow night. No big changes there. Uh, we've got it kind of running from... Uh, northern Lamar County around Sullivan up through Haleyville and Decatur and Hazel Green. Uh, north and west of that line, that's where there could be some freezing rain issues uh, tomorrow night. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.